Hey guys, welcome to my Node.js series. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with this series yet. Um, I'm just kind of winging it, kind of just going, um, just moving along. So, but what I want to do in this video is install Node.js and we're going to install it on Windows. Most of the videos that you've seen probably, uh, they're probably using Linux or a Mac. Um, but we're going to use Windows just because um, things run a little different and I know some of you might not know or might not use Linux or Mac. So um, we're going to install Node.js, but first I want to install uh, Git for Windows. And there's two reasons I want to install this. One obviously is for version control, so we, we have that accessible on our Windows machine. Uh, and I also like the terminal that it gives us. It, it allows us to do Linux-like commands and uh, just, just different things. So uh, that's what we'll be using basically as our terminal when we use Node. So you want to go to git-scm.com and click Download for Windows. And I actually already have a video of this if you want to check that out too. Uh, I already downloaded it, so I'm going to go to that. Um, my downloads folder and we want to install git All right, so I'm just going to use I'm just going to use the default directory uh, for the components I'm going to just leave uh, yeah we're just going to leave it as default All right, now here I actually want to change this from using git bash only uh, because I want to be able to do git and other Linux-like commands within the regular command prompt. So I'm going to choose this option, run git and include Unix tools from the Windows command prompt. And for this option, um, check out Windows style, we'll just leave this as default. All right, so you might get a, a security alert. You just want to allow access. That's just the Windows firewall. I apologize if uh, the, anything runs slow. This is actually uh, a virtual machine that doesn't have that much power, so. All right, so that's finished now we usually would get an icon here but I guess we didn't now this program comes with a GUI as well the git GUI so you can actually have uh, an interface with icons and, and stuff I have actually never used it uh, I basically just want this for the command line you can check out the GUI if you want but I'm gonna take this git bash and send it to my desktop that way we can easily access that all right, and if we open that up, it's basically just a command prompt. All right, so now what we want to do is install Node. So you want to go to nodejs.org and click install, and it should automatically give you the right file to install, depending on your system. All right, so we want to open that. Alright, so this is just going to install Node on your system. And just click all the defaults. Alright, so Node has been successfully installed. And if we go to All Programs, Node.js, we can send this to the desktop. All right, now if we click on Node.js, we get this command line. Uh, and what this is, is it's called REPL, which stands for Read, Eval, Print, Loop. And it's basically the command line interface that we can use 
to interact with Node, and we can write JavaScript, uh, and, among other things. But we're not going to be using this too much because we can actually just access it from our command line. We could access it from the standard Windows command line as well as this git bash. All right, the, the, all we have to do to access it is just type in node. And then it gives us that same um, greater than sign and, and we can do some stuff here. All right, so let's just do a couple simple things. Uh, we can basically run JavaScript in the command line. All right, so we can assign variables. We'll say variable y, which gives us, uh, it instantiates a variable for us. Um, we can say y equals 4, and it'll give us 4 back. Um, if we say variable x equals 5, we get undefined, and it's just not returning us anything. It's just assigning the variable, uh, and this happens if we use the var keyword. And I'm not 100% I'm not sure why it does that, but it just does. But either way, you're still assigning the variable. Uh, we can do basic math, so we can say uh, x plus y, which will give us 9. We can increment, so x is now 6. Um, we can do stuff with strings. We'll say variable color is equal to red. And you want to make sure you use uh, quotes just like you would in any JavaScript. All right, and we can do strings. Uh, we can print stuff out with console.log. All right, so in here we'll say my favorite color is, and then we can concatenate on our variable. Okay, so it says my favorite color is red. And this console.log you may have seen before. You may have used it in Chrome tools. Node.js actually runs on the same JavaScript engine that Chrome runs on, which is the, the V8 um, JavaScript engine. And that's, it's really fast, and that's one of the reasons why Node is so quick. So that's a basic installation. Like I said, I'm just kind of winging it for this series. So I know in the next video I want to start getting into um, writing scripts that we can access in the browser. Uh, we'll write a, a small um, web server program. Uh, with Node, you actually have to write the, the web server yourself. Um, you have to send out the request and response. Uh, it's not like something like PHP where uh, you just install it onto a server. Node actually is the server. All right, so it's actually kind of cool. So we'll get into that. And I'm also going to uh, I'm going to be using Express, which is an MVC framework for Node. Uh, it's a Node module, so we'll get into that as well. Uh, and we'll do some other cool stuff as well.